Hey everybody and welcome back to Hello Dev World. Today is day four of 365 days of coding. If you don't know what that is, every single day of 2021 in the morning, I post a challenge on my blog. Later in the day, I post a video and a blog post of the solution for that challenge. If you'd like to get the challenge in the morning in your email, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to sign up for that. Today, we're gonna to be creating a function that accepts an input and returns that input in a US phone number format. So let's get over to the computer and start this challenge. Now that we're back at the computer, let's start writing out some comments about what we know we need to do. So we know that we need to create a function that accepts an input. Then we're gonna to need to check if that input is a number and that it's not null or undefined. If the input is null, undefined, or not a number, we're going to return a message that says they need to send one in. Then we're going to check if the input is a string and if it's not we're going to make it a string then we're going to check if that input has a length of 10 because that is the length of a US phone number. If it is, we want to format it and re return the formatted number. If not, we want to check if it is less than 10. If so, return a message letting the user know they sent an invalid input that was less than 10. If not, we want to check that it's not greater than 10 as well. So if it's not less than 10, we want to check if the input is greater than 10. If so, return a message, letting the user know that they sent an invalid input again. That was more than 10. This is just so that we can have very specific error messaging. If you just wanted to check that the input was 10 or not 10, this would be a little shorter, but because I wanted to have specific error messaging about what they sent, we have to do these extra checks. Otherwise, it would just be one if else statement. If it's equal to 10, do the formatting, else throw an error. If the input didn't match any of the logic before it, 
then we want to just return a generic something went wrong message. This is just a catch all in case for some reason we get an input that the other logic isn't catching. We want to let them know there's an error that occurred, but we don't know exactly what that error is going to be. So we're just going to do a generic error message. While I'm typing this out, go ahead and smash that like button and make sure that you click subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss any of the challenges for the rest of the year. Looks like we have everything. Let's start coding. So we're going to create our function and we're going to call it phone format. You can really call it whatever you want. Phone number format, format phone number. This is just the one I went with and it's going to accept an input. And first, we're going to check if that input is not null or undefined. So not input. Or that it is not a number. And these are both built into Is not a number is a built-in function into JavaScript. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a description in the link down below. If this is true, we want to return input must be a number was sent Let's see what this is complaining about. It's complaining about a semicolon. That is okay. Now we want to check if the input that was sent isn't a string. And if not, we want to make it a string because all of the manipulation we're going to do after requires it to be a string. And what we're going to return eventually is a string. All right. Now we're going to check if the input length is equal to 10. If it is, this is where we want to do our formatting. So how we're going to do that is we're going to return replace. And I've done replace in a couple of the videos in the past. If you don't know what that is, again, I will put a link in the description down below, along with a regex help if you don't know what that is and you don't know how to use it. So I'm going to actually copy and paste the regex for this one. It's a little bit long. I'll put it in the description down below so you can do the same. And then we're going to format it here. And this is how you do it. You're going to do a string because it's going to be a string. And we're going to get the first set of numbers. We're going to get the second set of numbers. And then we're going to get the third set of numbers. I'm formatting these with dashes. But if you wanted to format this with the parentheses instead of the dashes, you could do it like this. But all of my examples have dashes, so I'm going to switch that back. And that's all you had to do for the formatting part. Now we're going to check if the input.length is less than 10. If it is, we want to return a message letting them know. And I'm just going to copy that from the examples that we had. And then we're going to check if the input is greater than length is greater than 10. And if it is, I'm also just going to copy that from my examples. That in a string. Otherwise, we're going to have our generic catch all message.
um, which is something went wrong. All right, now if we run this, we should see everything that we're expecting. So that was the solution for today. Please feel free to leave your solutions in the comment section down below. I would love to see them and other people would love to learn from them. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of the other challenges for the rest of the year. And I'll see you tomorrow.